Hey there guys, Nick Clark here, welcome to Focus Fitness Training today. Today we're doing our new video, which is our new triceps workout video. This is your traumatic triceps workout. Okay, the reason I call it your traumatic is your triceps will be literally traumatized after this, okay? Uh, because it is a hard workout. Okay, it's a really good workout off you because it's gonna give you that bulk and that tone that you need, okay, but it is literally gonna traumatize them in the best way possible okay so they will be sore and very much on fire by the end of this workout <coughs> okay now <coughs> what you can do in this obviously workout is it's kind of like a circuit fashion but not okay so you're doing like a tripod okay kind of like a triangle okay um sort of uh, the way you're doing this workout okay and you'll have a finisher at the end of the workout as well okay to literally sort of finish off your triceps okay so we can get on the first exercise the first one is kettlebell tricep extensions okay so i'm just going to adjust the camera so you can see okay on the floor okay <coughs> Now you can do this with a dumbbell as well, okay, it doesn't have to be with a kettlebell, okay, it's completely up to you, uh, and also depending if you have the equipment as well. Okay, hold the kettlebell how you feel comfortable, okay, get yourself in your position, you have your arms at an angle, okay, not straight, otherwise there's going to be no tension on the triceps, okay, and you want as much tension in there as possible, okay, because the longer something's under tension, then you know, obviously, the better results you're going to get. Okay, so <coughs> I'll roll the sleeve so you can see the arm working. <coughs> so get in your position, get down like so, and you have your head down, head up slightly. Okay, again, go down, nice and slow on the lowering, up to an angle, back down, nice and slow. Okay. And put that off. No. <clears throat> so we want to be doing about 10 to 12 repetitions on that one. Okay, so you need to be making sure you get a weight that you can handle. Okay, but also make sure it's nice and slow and controlled as I was doing it there. Okay, because that will make it even harder. Okay, make sure again. On that sort of negative portion when you're going down getting a nice good stretch okay that it's nice and slow and controlled as well okay but make sure you keep those arms at an angle okay because that will keep the tension on because if they go straight in front of you like so then you're basically going to take the tension off of the tricep okay and you want to keep the tension on the triceps okay so keeping it at that angle and you're going down nice and nice and slowly getting a like I said, good really good stretch and then coming back up at that angle okay will work the triceps properly but like I say about 10 to 12 full repetitions on that one okay so you do that exercise first okay and then you're going to your cobra push-up okay so you just gotta move that out of the way now you've mostly seen me do this on sort of videos before okay and um, sort of promo videos okay as you can see twice it's working up there okay sort of start off like so and you're going to go down position okay and up okay you can see the twice it's from up there so back keep yourself off the floor and up Okay, so you can see the sausage far up there. Okay, now that one I love, okay, because it's a bodyweight exercise, okay, but it's a hard bodyweight exercise, okay. Now that one, um, you don't set a rep, rep, a rep sort of range, okay, it's just two failure, okay. The reason you can, obviously, it's bodyweight, okay, and we've got a different strength level, okay, um, and I don't really want to be setting a rep range. Or when people have different strength levels so you do that one until you pretty much can't perform a good enough rep now if you've never done it before you most probably will only get to about 8 10 or 12 
okay so it will be mercury in that red range somewhere okay um but obviously like i say do it to failure okay until you can't perform another good rep and then you would move straight on to the next exercise okay uh, but again I like, I like it again because it's a good hard bodyweight exercise okay and I feel sometimes it can be a little bit underrated because people think because it body weight's not going to work it, it may be body weight but it will work seriously okay even if you're one of the best contractions in a tricep exercise you can get okay so to get a really good contraction that is one that you need in your arsenal anyway uh, then you would move on, like I say, kind of like a circuit fashion, but not completely, um, on to your tricep kickbacks, okay? <coughs> right, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, keep the sleeve up. Alright, now, what you do is you're going to have your knees bent, your feet facing forwards, your back straight, your butt out, okay, so athletic position. You're going to bring the arms up to a 90 degree angle, okay, nice and slow controlled, and nice and slow down, okay. And that is how you're going to do that one there. Okay, that's your tricep kickbacks, okay. Okay, so let's see from this angle. Okay. Alright. Okay. So that, as you can see there, what you're doing is you're doing that motion, okay, and that's firing up the tricep as you're doing it, okay. We're also getting some back activation, okay? So you're getting get some sort of upper back activation as well as rear shoulder, okay? So it all ties in sort of really quite well, okay? So it's a really good exercise, uh, again, to be doing, okay? Now you can do that like I was, standing or kneeling, or you can even do it on a physio ball or a bench, okay? Really depends on what you want to do and obviously uh, the sort of time that you've got. If you've got a lot of time, then fair enough. If you haven't, then obviously do it sort of with the slightly less equipment. Okay. So again, I find it's another good one to do. Again, about 10 to 12 repetitions on that one. So you have to play around with the weight uh, to see obviously uh, whereabouts or what you need to be sort of lifting. Okay. Uh, anyway, so that, that's what you're going to be doing. There are going to be your three main exercises. Okay. Like I say, you're going to do your your kettlebell tricep extensions, okay, or you can use a dumbbell if you need to. Then your cobra push-ups, and then your kickbacks, okay. And you do that three times round, okay. So one, two, three, okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. After you've done that, okay, you're then going to go on to your finisher, okay, which we call the X pull down or the bat X band pull down, okay. So what you do. Is again, you can do sort of standing or kneeling, it's really up to your sort of preference. But again, it's another good one that ties in the back, okay? So, really good one to be doing. Okay, but you get the band, you get enough tension, okay? okay kneeling, okay? So, go to about a 90 degree angle, okay? So, try and keep it nice and sort of straight, okay? But, and pull back. Look up, okay, from this position, you're contracted, you're doing the, tri the traps, lots of rhomboids, rear shoulders, the triceps, okay, so you get really good back activation there, and again, nice and slow. If you have to adjust your grip, then it's completely fine, but again, doing this one last. Okay, right, so, okay, but, now, with that one, you do that three times, though, okay, one after another, so, you do your, so, you sort of, your tripod first, okay, uh, and then you do those, 
basically three, sort of one, two, three, straight after one another, okay? But if you have about 30 seconds rest in between, okay, um, with the band, okay, just to sort of let the lactic acid sort of subside, okay? But like I say with this one, obviously it's near enough, there's no rest hardly, okay? The only rest you have is the transition between exercise to exercise, okay? So you do your kettlebell um, tricep extensions, go straight into your cobra push-ups, and then straight into your kickbacks. Okay, then off you rest, okay? For again, say 30, 30, 45, maybe 60 seconds, okay? And go straight back into it, okay? Then again, if you really want to be extreme, just go straight into it all three rounds, one after another no rest at all okay and that will really work triceps that will overload that will give them that overload that they need okay that's how i sort of go with this workout i like to basically hardly have any rest in it okay because that way i'm overloading the triceps i'm getting them the response they need i'm shocking them in, in a way that they've not been shocked before okay uh, so if you can do that to your muscles okay if you can shock them in a way that they've never had before then you will get a response that you need uh or where, whether that's for like bulking or toning okay or even strength um then obviously doing something like that that way will get that response that you need okay but like i say do those three times round, okay and then straight into those or three times round, okay but say with the band ones, have about 30 seconds rest in between, obviously just to let, sort of let that lactic acid subside. Okay, but like I say, with the kickbacks and that one, you also tie in the back as well, so you're getting a good all round sort of workout out of it as well. Okay, so it all ties in very nice and neatly. Okay, but like I say, um, I, again, I like this, this workout one because obviously it's quick and it's time efficient. It's time efficient for people, okay, if they are short on time, okay, you don't need a lot of equipment, okay, you don't need a lot of room, okay, uh, and, but the reason I've also done this workout is it's scalable for everyone, okay, so if you can't do heavy weights, you just do light weights, do what you can, guys, okay, so only do what you can do, don't do what you can't do, okay, but obviously challenge yourself, but do not do it where you can't perform it properly. Make sure you have a good form to a certain um, aspect, okay? Um, anyway, guys, obviously that is the triceps uh, workout video, the traumatic triceps video um, of workout. Uh, but anyway, I hope you liked it. Obviously, if you give it a thumbs up and a like. Obviously, uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Focus Fitness. Um, obviously, uh, the more of you do subscribe, the more we can do, okay? And if you do subscribe, obviously, you're never going to miss a video, and you can follow us every single step of the way, okay, which is fantastic. Uh, like I said, you're never going to miss a video. Um, if you think it's going to help a friend out, obviously let them know, get them to subscribe, okay? Um, if they're sort of stuck for a workout they want to do or they want to try something new, okay? Uh, but like I said, if you did like the video, I hope you did, obviously go away, try it out, send in your comments, let me know what you thought of the, the video, let me know what you thought of the workout, okay? Let me know how sore your triceps will be after, okay? Um, but like I said, if you like the video, give it a like and a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in a few days with a new video. Here, cheers, bye.